Hello everybody, David Burdett, lead editor with Gaming Trend here yet again because we are back with more sneak energy, drinking it, tasting it, seeing how it tastes, if it's any good, and we're letting you know right here. Today we are to the Bubblegum Millions Sneak Generations flavor. This is... I've not tried anything bubblegum flavored when it comes to energy, so I'm really excited to test this out, see how it is. As per usual, we're going with 16 ounces of water because I like that better. These are really strong. They suggest 10 to 12 ounces of water. I like the 16. Let's go ahead and just pour that bad boy in there. The other thing that goes with these, there's 150 milligrams caffeine, hence why we're having to do these uh, not all at once because my body could not take that much caffeine. So let's go ahead, open this bad boy up, and get a sniff, and let's see if it smells like bubblegum. There actually is a lot of bubblegum smell in there. Um, surprisingly, I'm not getting as much, at least, of the vitamin-y smell. Uh, I've mentioned before, it smells to me like crushed up Flintstones vitamins. Makes sense. There's a lot of good vitamin -y goodness in here. So let's go ahead. Let's pour this in. Watch as the powder goes up the mist. And we're going to see if it works out because could be good, could be not. But it's bubblegum. So it does look like it's a blue tinge to it. I'm assuming that's probably what it is. We uh, yesterday saw blue tinge to the neon punch one, which is delicious if you didn't see our last video. And uh, when I shook it up, it ended up being green. This one, pretty sure it stays with blue since the packet we had is blue. So let's go ahead, pop this open, smell it. Oh man, that is like straight up bubblegum. Like that's that's exactly what I would expect when you when you call something a bubblegum flavor. The scent of it totally bubblegum. Let's take a taste and see if it follows up with it. Okay. So this definitely has that bubblegummy taste to it. The only thing that I will mention is it reminds me a lot of the same fake bubblegum taste that you get in toothpaste. It's not necessarily a bad bubblegum taste. I'm not saying that at all. It's actually pretty pleasant to the palate. Tastes pretty good. Um, so it's it tastes really well. It's subtle. It's it's not something that's going to overwhelm you. But it does kind of remind me of is like I said, it's a silly sound of it, but it makes me think of the bubblegum taste of toothpaste. It is not a bad taste though. It works really well for sneak, so that it's got that refreshing taste to it, that refreshing feeling to it. Hey everybody, quick addendum to the bubblegum flavor we talked about. After drinking it for a little bit longer and and drinking it today. I don't think it's one that would end up in my rotation. I think the flavor is fine. It's just not one that I want to drink all the time. So I, as much as I'd like to say, yeah, it's good to go. That one's kind of mid for me. So anyways, moving on to the next one. Hey everybody, David Burdett, lead editor with Gaming Trend here again because we are talking about our sneak flavors as we have been for quite some time. Let me grab one real quick here. Today, we are going a little bit sour and going with Sour Apple Sneak. As per usual, we're using 16 ounces of water. They suggest 10 to 12, but it is so strong that it is good enough to go even without, even when you're dulling it down using the water. So let's go ahead and pour this stuff in here. Getting the water in. As per usual, I only want to drink I want to drink less than two of these a day. They're 150 milligrams of caffeine, so you don't want the jitters. There is some good vitamins and stuff in here, though, so it's nice to get that in. So I try to drink one or or two at max a day. Let's smell. Let's take a good whiff of how this one is. Okay. This one, so this one definitely it smells stronger and it smells stronger of the vitamin-y kind of scent. Uh, I've said before, Flintstones vitamins crushed up. 
that's pretty much what it is. This one has a lot more of that smell to it, so I'm assuming flavor is gonna be a lot stronger. Let's go ahead and as per usual, we pour this in and watch as the powder mist kind of goes up from it. Let's see if I can get that all there. So this is showing up very much as green. This one sank right to the bottom, whereas a lot of the other ones have uh, immediately been like just floating. So let's go ahead and get this screwed on. This is awesome if you haven't grabbed one yet. The Metal Blizzard Shaker. Let's get this thing going. All right, now the true test is, does the scent change now that it's in water? Okay, yeah, there's a lot more of that sour green apple kind of smell here. Um, don't, not getting really any of the vitamin E anymore, which is, which is, that's good, that's good. There's a good possibility that's gonna disappear in this taste. So let's see if this is a sour green apple taste. Okay, so that is definitely sour green apple. There is a little bit of that. I said there's an, a, a vitamin-y undertone that's still there. This, the flavor doesn't cancel it out. I'm assuming that it has to do something with the stronger flavors still bring that stronger vitamin-y taste, whereas the more subtle flavors are able to almost mask the vitamin-y taste because they're more the refreshing. Like, this still tastes refreshing. It's just the vitamin-y taste is definitely heavier and... I'm guessing that must be something to do with the sweetener or something like that that's in there. But sour green apple, actually really good. It's not too terribly tart. Like it's still got that sour taste to it, but it's also got more of a sweetness to it that, um, you know, things that rhyme with he buell. Um, <laughs> I've had that green apple flavor and it's a lot more Heart than this one is so I do like the fact that there's there's that little bit of extra sweetness of the apple kind of coming through so the sneak green apple flavor the sour green apple totally worth it love it this is not a flavor that I tire of it is very good it is very it just tastes great um, I, I, I love green apples myself so it works out perfectly so appreciate that now on to the next one Hello everybody, David Burdett, lead editor with Gaming Trend here once again to talk about Sneak Energy. We have been going through and trying a bunch of the different flavors so that we can tell you whether or not it's worth it, whether it's not, and uh, so far, so good. Everything's been really tasty and I'm looking forward to trying today's. It is called Purple Storm. And probably the most interesting thing about this is it's not the only purple. As soon as I heard purple, I immediately thought grape. I'm gonna have to go look this up because I'm not sure what the flavor is because we actually have a package of Grape Crush here to try out and that'll be in a later one. So let's go ahead and jump into this. As you probably know if you've been following this, we're using 16 ounces of water instead of the 10 to 12 recommended just because it is a very strong flavor. So it doesn't really dumb it down to go with extra water, which to me is nice. I like to have a little bit more to drink as opposed to just 10 ounces. So you can hear all that wonderful, wonderful water pouring in. And as we always say, we only use pretty much one of these a day. It is recommended to go no more than two of them because there's 150 milligrams of caffeine in here. You do not want to put all of that in your body. So let's go ahead. I promise I've not had one of these already. That's not why I'm all wired and whatnot. I'm just excited to try a new flavor. Let's go ahead and pour this bad boy in. Ooh, I see the purple. Smell. <coughs> <coughs> that might not be great, but it really smells like grape. I usually, I messed up. I usually smell the package first before I put it in here. And then I inhaled some of that wonderful mist of it that we talked about. Very purple in here. Very, very purple inside here. So let's go ahead and close this bad boy up. If I can get a good seal on this because I don't want it to go everywhere which I usually have no problems this white blizzard shaker made out of metal it's really awesome really nice holds in the coolness the the cold of the water really well once we are done with this now 
let's go ahead and give it a sniff. Let's see what it smells like at least. So what's funny is I don't know that I necessarily smell great, but I feel like I smell purple. As, as silly as that is going to sound. Like, I don't want to say it's that same smell I got out of the bubblegum one, but it, it almost seems kind of similar. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and drink some of this. I, I can't place this. I don't know why. Like, it's definitely not grape. Like, I, I know this is not what I would expect out of a grape taste, but it's purple is really as silly as it is. That's what it tastes like. Um, I guess maybe I'm getting a bit of the like purple Powerade maybe, which isn't really grape flavor. Um, if there's even a purple Powerade, maybe Gatorade or something. But it's like, it, it really reminds me of the taste of the bubble gum, but not as bubble gum if that makes sense. It's very refreshing tasting. It's a lot milder. It doesn't have that undertone hitting you and it doesn't have the vitamin-y taste, at least in the initial tasting of it that I've gotten with some of the other ones. So in, in any case, it tastes good. Um, I have to taste it a little bit more, round all my thoughts out on it, but at least initial taste, purple, whichever. Purple Storm is a thumbs up so far. On to the next one.